Hey guys, Lumsi here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the previous episode, we reached the 90s, and uh, one of the biggest unlockables there are these guys, the multi-compartment trucks, Scania trucks on top of that, with different skins, and uh, we tried to utilize them all in the previous episode. And we are going to continue with that trend this episode and we're going to improve some of the lines more, especially the ones on the right. That huge bottleneck, yeah, we need to improve that train. And uh, the Conmats line is, I think, where we want to improve as well. As well as some other truck lines over here, but uh, first things first. Let's do a quick check on our, the status of our guys. What the heck's happening? <laughs> okay, there might be a bit too many people in here. I think there's too much action in this place. How many lines are working in here? Uh, if I zoom in totally, there are six, five lines. Ah, dropping off stuff here. Maybe we can unload some of them. What is that? The mailbox looks new now. I think it's because of the 90s. So the, the bus stops, the, the buildings look a bit different. Okay, so let's get a large truck station. Put the same thing there, but just decongest that a bit, I guess. Or maybe we could remove that. Maybe we could put that in here. Yeah, that's still in catchment anyway, right? That's still in catchment of that, so that's still in catchment of this. So that should just decongest the cars, the trucks coming from there. So the ones coming from here, which is coal, I guess that is. And they are using very old trucks right now. Um, add that, yes, remove the second, and uh, the truck iron ore, add that, remove the second, there you go. So that these two truck lines coming from the west, they'll be coming here, they won't be using this intersection, that's way less already. And uh, then let's see what else, we have three more. One of them is Malton. Malton is not really a big deal, but I think we try to decongest that as well. We put that here. Is that how it goes? No, 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 no. That actually destroyed it. My bad. Uh, where the heck is Malton? Is it this one? I hope that's the one. We remove Malton North. There we go right okay so let me see that yeah that's Malton all right all right that's good <laughs> my bad so if we look at the line now um, it's not visible so much let's change the color a bit there you go so if we look at the lines going here uh, still a lot still a lot happening but this one is getting pretty decongested now only two lines using this one this one three lines and that should help with the traffic situation. Yeah, that should be okay. Good. Alright, so, and they should be in catchment of each other, so that should not be a problem. Good. Alright, that, that was solved. And now we go on to the biggest problem so far. This one. So here, this train. It's a croc. Mediocre power rating. Very short trip. Only... <laughs> If you look at the track itself, the, the platform ends here, and you, you, the track is only that long, and then it reaches the next platform already. So it's that short. And look at all the crew that's waiting here, 1,000 growing. Yeah, definitely our train cannot handle that. So this guy, we need to upgrade fully. Um, let me see. Actually, let's see, let's see. How many guys do you have let's start from scratch let's look at you you have 20 wagons and a croc i think but I, maybe we can get something much better huh if you get if you look at the locos even if it's expensive it's a one-time investment we don't really need top speed so we, we need the slowest but strongest pull how about that 483 kilonewtons 483 do we have something better? 300. Compare that with the croc. 
which is where is it even it's way way back here is it or did i miss it that one right a57 no i'm actually using wait a minute no 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 there we go class e94 363 90 kilometers 3000 kilowatts it's not that cheap as well huh 7 million wow so it's 93,000, 9100, 3,363. I wish there was like a compare feature in here. That would make my life so much easier. 900, 3,000, 900. <laughs> so, so confused. 9100, 3,300. Compare that with this guy. 9100. 3,000. Yeah, it's it's heavier, but it's stronger. Let's go with that. Why not? Yeah? And then, uh, I remember Avinash was saying, you could actually change some of the cars. Instead of using stake cars for everything, you can have some of them with uh, tank cars, I believe. These guys can hold 18... Yeah, I think that's the one. What's the catch though? I do have a lot of other uh, cars here. This one can carry almost everything, but not the new industry stuff. So definitely if you want to carry new in industry stuff, we need to use Snafis. And then on top of that, we can use the tank cars because this one can only carry 14. That one can carry 18. Let's let's have a look. How much are you carrying back? So maybe we can fill it with tank cars and just have a few uh, Navy's uh, wagons. Yes? Let's have a look. Alright. Okay. So this guy can fill up to 280. Um, and then going back, it only needs stuff for those uh, papers, tools. Uh, machines and con mats so that's like four four different kinds of goods maybe can, can do with like one car each right and then the fuel it can be loaded in a uh, tank car so that can actually be disregarded so in these guys yeah it's like one each one two three four so maybe I'll fill it with tank cars and then just have four universal stake cars there. I think that would be the best approach. And then with that way, we maximize the, uh, the length of the platform and the train versus how much it can carry. How long is this thing anyway? 720 meters. All right, let's see. The train right now is... Uh, how long are you? 378. Alright, so we have more than double room to work with. And even then, we can actually go beyond that. So let's go with tank cars. Tank wagon or tank car? Depends on which region, right? These two are the, the ones that are competing. Now, in terms of capacity, this is better. So let's go with that. Although it's a bit longer, but I guess it would be more worth it. So let's go with that. Now we can see the length here. At the very least, we have to have 20 in there. How about if we get 40? <laughs> that might be a bit too much. But <laughs> How about that? 40. It's going to be 700 meters. And then we add four universal stake cars. Is that a bit too much? How much will that be? 41 million. Oh my goodness. All right, maybe let's reduce that a bit. <laughs> 30 million. How about 30 million? 29 million. Actually, I was thinking, maybe we don't need it to be that short, right? I mean, why would you need it short? Because remember our experiment in the previous season, or was that two seasons ago? Where we had the train, which was so long, it reached the end of the other platform. And if it's so long, actually it will need to just travel a very short bit that means it's going to be very fast it's going to reach the other station very fast because it's that long it needs to only like move like an inch or so so maybe the goal is not to pack in as much as uh, 
as much uh, how do you say as much uh, space as possible and capacity maybe the goal is to actually spread it out yeah it's the opposite Maybe I don't need this train at all, but yeah, let, let's let's leave it for now. Okay, let's see. If I want a tank wagon, so that one is probably the best, yes, because because that's going to be very very small capacity, but very top speed is 80. I, I doubt our train can even reach 80. Let's see. And I know, I know we're taking a lot of time in this train, but I think it's going to be worth it. it. It's reaching 80. It is reaching 80. Okay, so maybe around 100 would be fine. Yeah, 100 top speed. So maybe not that slow, not that old wagon, not that, not that one. Maybe the next level, this one. 120, yeah, that should be more than enough. So instead of getting the 12 ones, we get the 9 the tank wagon. We fill that up until i don't know how long okay that's the the meters uh so let me see currently this has 20 20 translates to 288 right 20 to 88 uh 20 times 4 yeah and uh, what we're getting is these guys or these guys that's uh, 45 times 9. Let's make it simple. 50 times 9 is 450. Yes, 450 pieces. And it's not yet that long, actually. Is that going to be worth it? Maybe we should have gotten this one, huh? Maybe because that's longer. Oh, let's just try it. Let's do this trial and error. 60 would be 540 that's not going to be long enough that's only 522 meters hmm. but yeah fine let's let's try that maybe that will work let me just try one one of these <laughs> it's such a long train <laughs> but why the heck not right why the heck not okay let, let's let's fill it up Let's fill it up. Uh, the, the platform is how long again? 720, I think. So let's fill that. Add four of Navy State cars in there. One, two, three, four. So let's reduce a bit of these. That one, 719. That's going to cost us 25.8 million. Okay, we can do that. Although in terms of weight, we are actually losing out. Do I really want this? Because this can only carry 9, but it is 10 tons. This one can carry 18 and 20 tons, so it's double. I, I, it's fine. Actually, it's 1 is to 1. Yeah. Weight is 20, capacity is 18, capacity is 9, weight is 10. So it's like twice everything. Alright. Then we leave this here then. Okay, good. So how much do you need? 25.8, do it! Let's see, let's see how this looks. <laughs> I hope I don't regret this. Boom, and boom, there we go. Actually, it looks pretty nice, huh? <clears throat> so it can carry all of that. Yeah, there we go, the four stake cars at the back. And then it's that long, it can actually reach the end of the platform. There we go, and now it's almost arriving at the other side, and it will be able to carry, how much would that be? Let's go and uh, repay our loans. Dropping it off, 731 <laughs> units of crude. Oh, there's still a lot in here. There's, oh no, there's actually just 700 left. Okay, that might be a bit too much. We might have enjoyed that a bit much so we probably don't need it that much right but then again this one is uh, actually production stopped already so this might not be a good uh, a good uh, measure of how things are going 
But the important thing is that we can get them all in there. Yeah, look, the 700 isn't really growing at all. So what we can do, let's wait for December. I hope by December this one resumes again because there is absolutely no production at all. And that will need some time to ramp up. Look at how, how this will go. We'll just swallow up all of that. Perfect. <laughs> I think this is the longest train I've ever made. Aside from the experiment that we've done before. Okay, good. There we go. Production is ongoing again. And uh, yeah, it is ramping up pretty fast. So we should be seeing the complete picture in a bit. Over here. Wow, look at that. No more crude. That fast. Okay, let's keep that. Let's keep that maximum. So that the... No more loans again. Perfect. Just in time for December. So let's keep that maximum length of the train. So that the train length is not the bottleneck. And from there, we will see if we have enough production of crude versus what the fuel refinery demands. Right? Something like that. And we can see if uh, we did the right choice. I hope so. I hope. I really hope so. <laughs> I really hope we did. Okay. Production is ramping up. No problem. Oh, crap. Something something new came out. And I just, <laughs> I just disabled it. Yeah, that train is not full. Not a good sign. 400. Okay, so the demand is 6148 potential for fuel. And currently, the potential for crude is only 4000. Why is that? It's quite weird. But yeah, the, the production is now ramping up 5000 here. Actually, yeah, that's, that's very good. Okay, let's see how it looks. So by the time the train arrives, there is 200 waiting in here. So maybe that's only the, the length we need to have. 300. Right? So it loads up, empties all that out, and it's good. So maybe we can say instead of having like 700 capacity, maybe only have 400. see okay crude is almost out but just in time because the train is arriving dipping below safety a bit and there we go I love that that's perfect that is perfect let's give it one more round let's give it one more round to see what will happen here so potential is 4,000 okay it's producing up to its potential and now we have the same thing yeah, so it, this is the, the full capacity now. And our train can go, can take around 300, so maybe 400 fuel or crude. All right, let's, let's, let's uh, do that bit. Even so, we're still earning money, even with all those additional cars, even all those excess cars. So let me see. If we need 400, let's do some math here, guys. Clumsy doing ad hoc math, never a good formula. If we need 400, divided by, is this the one we're using? 9? Divided by 9, what is that? 9 times 4, 4, 44? Yes, 44? I think so. Okay, let's try it. Let's see if, uh, let's see if I ma my math was good. So let's reduce that to 44. Where's the counter? That there, 72. Let's reduce it to 44. That should make it faster. Right? Okay, how much are you carrying? 495. Wait a minute. No. Wait a minute. No, the crude is ramping up. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> that means the calculation will not work immediately. Because for some reason, production just went up. Okay, let's hold on that. Let's hold that thought. Right, let's hold that thought, but it's good to see that this is not a bottleneck anymore. It might be that now the bottleneck has moved on to the fuel line. 
this one. Maybe we need it to be longer, this guy. Maybe we need this to be even longer. Goodness. <laughs> that is amazing. And maybe we can do the same thing there. Let's see, okay. Alright. You go, you drink everything up. How much will be left? Not too bad. There's a bit left in there, but it's not too bad. I guess it, we can upgrade. Yeah, look at that. 596. Okay, nope. Nope, not going to upgrade that. That's just the right volume. Right? Good. Let's keep it. How about this one? <laughs> going to the con mats now. Uh, we have stone, we have slag. We are producing con mats. Uh, 1708. Potential is 1708. But yeah, we need to upgrade. So we need more consistent stone and slag in here. I guess it's a bit long because the train is coming all the way from there. So it will really run out. And actually, look at that. Oh no, this is it's this guy. Yeah, he's coming back. He's almost full. Yeah, the Conmat train is full. Okay, that's good. And look at all this fuel that's being dropped off here. Beautiful, isn't it? Just one well-oiled machine happening here. Ooh, what is that? Lots of stuff on the paper line. Oh, not really. They just drank it all up. <laughs> these, new tra these new trucks are just really monstrous. Okay, good. Any build-up here? Not really. Not really a lot of build-up. Just a bit. I guess we can upgrade those though. Into the new trucks. Let's worry about that in a bit. Let me check out the other areas. About this one. Yeah, we're good. We are good. Full train? Full train with a bit of garbage at the back. Man, this is really taking shape, huh? Okay, good. That drops off. Do we need a longer train for our con mats? I think so. Let's upgrade that thing. Because right now, the top speed for that guy is only 120. We're wasting a lot there. If we can make that 160 top speed. Ah, uh, because we have Nafis. Nafis, I think, has only a top speed of 120. Is that it? No, it's 160. So wait a minute. The train has a top speed of 140. The locos have 160, so it should be able to go to 140 actually. But maybe I just didn't see it that way. Right? It's not full. The train is not the problem. Hmm. How do we do that? looks so good 421 okay it is fluctuating but uh, it's producing fully now full production all the way although we are barely earning any money in there actually we're losing money now but that's fine that's just a feeder for our uh, fuel and for the rest of the the lines there we go that's what I like yeah, exactly. Oh crap, no more stuff in here. Pause this. This guy's arriving. There are... There is like 112 capacity. There's 97. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we just need more consistent stones and uh, slag production. And that should allow us to upgrade this guy. Oh, that's not a lot. That will not really... That will not ramp up production. Ah, I, I, I know now. Yes. You guys probably recognized it way before. The reason why it can, it can only go up to 120 is because our tracks are not high speed. So we're losing out on 20 kilometers. Instead of being able to go at 140, we can go only 120 because this guy... 
these tracks are old. So let's upgrade them. And let's also upgrade the local of the con mats so that he can go the full 160. Yes, that guy. If we get you... Do we need the top of the line? Not really. This one might be enough. A 10.4. GE. E60C-2. Looks pretty good. I think that was one of my favorites before. And then let's fill that with... Do we need Navy State Cars here? I guess that's fine. Let's have a look at the... So there were eight. Six, seven, eight. Do we keep it 8 or do we upgrade it? Uh, let's keep it at 8 for now. Yeah, that's fine. 8.55 million. Let's keep it at 8. And then let's uh, add on cars when the, the plant upgrades. Yeah, but speeding it up will be very useful. There we go. That can go up to 140 now. And once it upgrades, it can go up to 160. There we go, drop them off, upgrade, pick it up, and off you go. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, production went down. Went down to zero. Dang it. Yeah, so upgrade stopped again. We need a more consistent supply. Okay, that's speeding up. 140. If you look at power rating, it's the first time I'm getting a good rating in here. There we go, 160. Top speed, look at how fast that goes compared to the fuel train. That looks so good, look at this. Wait, hey, where is it? There it is, catching up. Because this guy can only go up to 135. Oh, it's going to catch up in the tunnel, I think. That looks so good. Let's see, when it comes out, who will come, from, come out first? There it is, there it is. Oh, the race is on. It's a close match. It's a close match. Oh, so the fuel train's still on. Yeah, but it's catching up. I don't think it has enough time though. But they'll arrive almost just at the same time. Fine. Oh, look at all that. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, it's loading already. All right, fine. I hope it can load that up. Okay, it's not as full. Could have loaded six more. So maybe we can add two cars in there. Okay, let's do that uh, race one more time. Let's see who will come out the tunnel first. For sure it's the Conmats one. We can see it from here. Actually not. Oh, but yeah, it's catching up. Goodness, that looks so good, doesn't it? <laughs> oh man. We don't get that often. <laughs> we don't get that often. Okay, let's fast forward. Beautiful. Yeah, the gap is widening. I like that. Okay, let, let's upgrade this guy. Let's add uh, two cars in there, two of Navy's, one, two, okay, yes, that's fine. That shouldn't have a problem with the, the uh, capacity. Actually, maybe we can add two more, just so we can really, one sec, have enough space. Maybe that will trigger more production for fuel and, uh, well, for uh, stone and slag. Not really sure how that works. Chicken or the egg, which one comes first? There we go. Longer train. Power rating is now mediocre. Crap. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. How are things here? Brrrp. Drinking it all up for 40. That's perfect. Yeah, this one I think we can improve a bit. So maybe we can have up to like 600 capacity. 
600 divided by 9 is what? 9 times 6? Something like that? 60 something? So maybe we can have it like 65 instead of 75. Alright? Or even 60. Yeah, maybe 60 should be enough. Okay, let's, let's have one more look. I really want to min-max this. Because currently there is... 75. Wow, look at all those new stuff. Freightliner Cascadia is now out, but I don't really need that. We have the multi-compartment trucks already. Alright. How much are you carrying? 461, yeah. I think 540 should be more than enough. So 60 wagons. All right, so let's remove these again. One sec. Let me add back those uh, wagons. These guys. So fill that up up to 60 over here. And then add back the four wagons from Nefi. Yes. That should gain us 3 million. It's fine. So that will make the train lighter, make it faster. That will uh, get us less maintenance costs. And that should uh, all in all trigger a better turnaround. Hopefully. Okay, let's see. So right now there's 500 in there. We can go up to 540. There we go. Yeah, that's enough. So not even full. Actually, I don't know why it doesn't fill that up entirely. But yeah, it has capacity to do so. So that's good. Production went down here. Crap, there is a bottleneck somewhere. Where? Was it on the fuel train itself? Yeah, I don't think... I don't see any bottleneck otherwise. Con mats? There we go. Lots of con mats. Lots of slag. Not so much stone. Ah, speaking of stone, that's one thing we can upgrade. Exactly. Let's go here. Right now, these guys... Can go up to 80 kilometers only, right? Yeah. They, we can upgrade them into the uh, Freightliner Cascadias so they can go up to 100 kilometers per hour and so we have some American trucks in here that one can carry 21 can go up to 100 kilometers per hour yes do it there we go and that should allow more stones actually there we go keep that upgrading and yes, there is a lot of uh, hmm, waiting stone in here. So let's maybe get two more trucks. Set you there. There we go. So we just need to make the supply chain faster. We need to ship more stone. So that it will arrive eventually. All the way to the Conmats line. So any slag that's lacking. Because remember in the previous episodes we had a problem with slag. And then you guys told me that slag is just a byproduct. So it doesn't really follow the demand for Conmats. So it, we do have a bit of slag. But it's not enough for the Conmats demand. So the remaining demand for Conmats will be fulfilled. By uh, producing or by supplying stones here at least that's the idea and uh, it's not complete yet this is because there, this road is only supporting up to 80 kilometers per hour so we need to upgrade that as well there you go upgrade everything where is it anyway is it that one is it it's a very long road huh a very expensive road for me Oh, crap. Hmm. Too much slope wear. Why did that guy turn around? Ah, there it is. There's the slopey bit. Pause. Delete that. 
connect that via main road. There you go. And just... Although I doubt it can reach... There. I doubt it can reach max speeds here anyway. With the way that bends, but... Yeah, at least it's potentially possible. Good. How are our trucks? Okay, that truck is carrying 21 units of fuel. And now we should be able to go 100. A kinda-ish. Yes, something like that. That's fine. This one we can improve. Um, instead of zigzagging all the way, just make a straight road like so. There, exactly. And this one... But I guess that's a bit flavorful, yeah? Because this is a hill anyway, so we have to really like go around there. Why is that not working? Upgrade that, I missed it. Okay. Good, everything else is upgraded. Perfect. And is that really the root of the line? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Actually, we can make a train line there, huh? Train line from there to there, but it's going to be one way. But... It's possible, isn't it? It is possible. If we build, like, if we just punch through the mountain or go through here, yeah, that's actually a very much shorter line. Ah. If we really want our con mats to flourish, we might need a train line there. Hmm, interesting. And then the goods from there we can deliver back. And then we can expand more on this side of the, the station. That might be a thing. Yeah, that might be a future improvement area. Just do a quick check. Why is production stopping, guys? What's wrong with you? Yeah, that's fully back up. Oh, we're, produ <laughs> we're supplying so much crude now. Okay, that, that's fine, that's fine. How about you? Not doing good. Okay, yes, we need to upgrade the stone line. So let's let those trucks do their work while we're working on the, the train. Right? Yeah, that should be fine. Yes, it's scheduled for upgrade, that's perfect. And it will be just in time for, uh, for when we create the train line in here. Let's make a very, very long train station in here. Or and let's make that expandable. Maybe we'll improve on that later on. Let's get a 720 meter train. You want that in catchment, so somewhere here. Let's curve it a bit. Uh, I want that flexible thing. Because I want the... Which one is it? How do you make this work again? Curve direction. Um, no, I think it's the other way. That one. Yeah, that's the one. So we can have this straight, and then we can have the other one curve like that. Yeah, perfect. And then it can punch through there. Let me see. Actually, no, we just need one curve. There we go. Stone. The quarry improved. Quarry upgraded. Perfect. Alright, let's get this like so. What is that thing? What is that thing like there is a tunnel? Country new. So many things here. <laughs> Underground track. No, we don't, we don't want any. I think that's fine, okay. Please don't crash. Alright, that's good. Alright. Let's uh, connect that. Small one should be enough. Alright. You are in catchment, perfect. And we want to go straight through there, the valley in here. That's actually perfect, right? Going through the valley, going straight through to the here. 
drop off stuff there. If we can have something like... Hmm, let's get one more of those guys. This time we connect from here. So this time this will be... Okay, it needs to be... It's a bit tricky. Because we need to be pretty close here. So we're in catchment of all these guys. So we need to be around that way. Something. Hmm. Then maybe let's just do it like this. Right? Although, how the heck do we align that much? <laughs> Unable to align terrain. Yeah. If you can curve it a bit. Maybe it'll help? Not really. A 700 meter train is very hard to align. Goodness. How about here? Is that flat enough? It's not aligning anywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, that's the main problem we have. Um, hmm. What if we make a train line all the way there? Skip the entire thing. That's going to be a bit... That's going to be, make us miss out on a bit. Yeah. No, let's, let's take baby steps. Let's go here first. The main challenge is how the heck do I align this? I think I need to make it shorter. Because the slope here is not very friendly. If I make a flexible train station, oh, actually, oh, that one can work. Wow, wait a minute, how did that work? How the heck did that happen? Yeah, that works. Look at that. Hmm. I think I'm fine with that. Let's try it. Yes. Let's connect this. Let's see if that will get connected. Oh crap, it won't connect here. I hate that. So how do we know if it's connected? Okay, remove it. Bit of a waste, so we need to make the road first. Something like that, maybe. See if that connects. Yeah, that one is connected. It's a very tricky thing. Okay, that one works. So it was just a few inches shy from the target. There we go. Yeah? Oh man, that's going to be very hard to align. Ouch! <laughs> one sec, let's... Uh, let's move that back a bit. Give it a bit more space. There we go. So it's not too close to the station. Right? Man, that's deep. Okay. Alright, we have train stations. That's good. And now, we need to cross a couple of roads. So, uh, how do we do this? Let's see. We need to go past there, straight, straight on, and then go straight here, curve it a little. Yeah, I think I get the picture. Okay, let's see. First, we delete that thing. Delete those roads. Let's go high speed here, because it's a very long route. Let's make it as flat as possible. Bridges are fine. 200, yeah, that's more than enough. Yeah, is that good? Yeah, that looks good. And then we cross over. That's gonna make a tunnel. <laughs> All the possible complications. Huh. It's a bit tricky. Actually, because... Hopper wagon? What for? Interesting. If I just connect you... There. 
how will you look like that way and it's going to be a tunnel from there 7 million it's not as dramatic but I guess it works it's a 191 drop there on the speed mm, I'm a bit torn I kind of like it but I hate it at the same time because as much as possible I don't like the tunnels let's start from here But yeah, I think there is no option. You really have to be go tunnels here all the way. Is it that way? Yeah, that's the one. In this one, there is no sudden drop on speed. Fine. Bite the bullet and live with it. Okay, but at least that's connected now. Alright, that's good. Let's get a station here. Let's get a proper station. Not just a depot. Let's, yeah, let's get something like that. Let's get a decent wagon. A decent local. Something that's pretty powerful. How about that guy again? Can go up to 160, right? Why not? And let's go get some wagons in. Maybe 8 for now, Nafis. Let's get 10. Set a line from there to there. Right? Is that enough? Looks pretty smooth. So that should load in there now. We should be able to get rid of our stone lines here. If we remove all of you and we sell that then yes, it gets transferred to the place here. Perfect. Okay, how's our train doing? It's doing pretty fine. Reaching max speeds. It's mediocre power rating though. Interesting. Okay, that's fine. And look at that already. Goods getting loaded on the platform. Alright, that's good. So we get rid of that huge bottleneck. Because going through those roads, and now I realize upgrading those roads really, really didn't help a lot. <laughs> but fine. Okay. This is in catchment of all those stations, right? Including that one. Okay, good. And vice versa. Yes. Okay, good. Perfect. So the train arrives here. Get stuff. There we go. Just didn't even register because these are only like one piece, two pieces each. But that's fine. The main goal is to get all these stones. Yeah, that's building up. This guy is... Uh, how much can he carry? Around 100 plus, that's fine. Yeah, that's more than enough. And our potential for stone... Yep, it's going up there. It's perfect. So when that train dumps all the stone in here, this will be filled with stones and our trucks, our beautiful white trucks here, the DB Shanker trucks should take care of them, which is not really, shouldn't be a problem, should be able to handle that. There we go. Oh yes, that is beautiful. And yes, having this bridge here is just the icing on the cake. Looks so scenic. Good. Show me the money. And what is this? Ooh, lots of build up here. Salt ash. Salt ash, bro. Uh, you need to upgrade. You need to get one of those multi compartment thingies. That will help you out. Uh, go with that. Okay. Are you happy? Yeah, that should be enough. That should be enough. Good. Wow, and look at all this. <laughs> okay, I think we need more trucks here. Uh, let's get uh, three more. No, two more trucks. What kind of trucks are you? The, that guy. Let's see. That guy. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But 
get what I mean, right? I hope. Wow, things are really shaping up. With all those additional uh, loads that we've been doing, reducing all the bottlenecks across the network, it's flowing down to the actual last stop before the main delivery to the city. That's beautiful. Look at that, full, full load. Yeah, I love that. And then the next train, the next truck should arrive soon as well. And, and I know a couple of people have been requesting to upgrade the passenger stations. And yes, we'll get to that. But I want to stabilize first the supply chain. Once everything is stable and doesn't need micro uh, micromanagement, I'd be happy to pass it back and leave it as is. 481, yeah, that's perfect. That's fine. How is the Conmats line? Still not up to speed. Okay, fine. Why? Question is why? Can the train not hold enough? No, there's actually not much in there. Well, there is a lull in the stone production, in the stone supply, but that should be stepping up now. There we go. The new sets of stones are coming. There we go. Yes, perfect. Look at that. How much stones are there? 60 in there now. And our train can carry 130, 140, something like that, 150. Yeah, that should be fine. Look at all those stones. Okay, yes. I think changing that to trains wins big time. So we're making a full circle here. Yeah, that guy over there. That should allow you to... Hmm, although the potential really bogged down. Weird. Maybe give it a bit more space. I don't see any build up here though. Where the heck is the train anyway? Oh, there he is. Okay, good. So this might not be earning much. Actually, he is earning. Interesting enough. Maybe it's because it's such a long route, right? Such a long route and uh, he's kind of carrying things both ways anyway, even though he's not really full. But yeah, give it one more month. There we go, potential is 596. Yes, please. All right, there we go. Now it's producing as much as I want. And that's stepping up, perfect. Where's the train? Hello? Hmm. Assign you a name. Crane Stone. How creative, right? Let's go with that so we can see it better. Where the heck are you? Oh, you're in the bridge already. You've actually passed me. Oh no, he's just arriving. Okay, he's carrying some of the stone already. Good, good. All right, great. Let's have a look. How does that look here? The stones have been picked up. So if you look at the Conmats train, yeah, it's almost full. 94, 130. That's amazing. Dropping off all that stuff for production. There we go. No more downgrade for you. Weirdly enough, the potential for stone here is zero. Maybe we need one more month to refresh that, probably. Mm, that's a bit weird. We'll see. We'll see how that works. Actually, I'm hoping that that didn't reflect all the way back to the quarry. Let me just double check the quarry that it hasn't stopped producing. Ah, oh, line usage, no. Yeah, there is something wrong. There is something wrong. Something got cut. Let's wait till October. Hopefully it goes up again. Wake me up when September ends. <laughs> Come on, one more day. There we go. Okay, it's back. It is back. All right, perfect. So where the heck was the bottleneck there? I don't see a bottleneck. 
I don't see any build-up. There is a bit of build-up. No, not really. What is this? Waste. Truck waste. Ah, yes, I remember. You guys. You guys. Should I do this? Sell. Let's replace them with just two of the new trucks that we have. Uh, let's get one of those colorful ones. Sign it to the waistline. So you should be able to carry everything, right? Maybe we need one more. Let's let's have a look. Okay, that one. How much is waiting? Just 47. Each truck can carry 40, so that's not really a problem. Okay. Good. So we decongest a bit the, the roads. We reduce the number of trucks on the road. We increase their capacities. That's perfect. Let me just have a quick look at this. Should be this one. There's how much in there now? 60, 70. Let's wait for the red trucks. Is that that guy? Yes, that's our guy. And we have to make more space in these roads. Okay, so you go there. Pick it up. Perfect. Pick it up and stop. Okay, there we go. No more backlog. What are these guys? Which line are you coming from? Okay, yes. We need to, ch we need to change you as well. Uh, remove that. And get just one. Where is you? Where is you? Where are you? There you go. Here. Just have one truck in there for now. Let's get a UPS truck. Sign you there. There you are. Carry all of that. Okay, that should decongest the place a bit. And then over here... Oh yeah, I remember that road. We have to upgrade this bit, I think. At least this one. Upgrade you to the big one. Oh, dang it. Stop. We need more space in here. So, if we upgrade that large one... Delete you as well. There we go, keep it straight. That's fine. Okay, that won't work. Ah, oh, that's collision. Um, hello? That won't work, bro. Let's do it something like this. Let's hug the coast. Something like that. Yeah, hug the coast, circle out a bit. There we go. From there we should be able to connect here, perfect. And here we just have a smaller road leading out to that place, right? Perfect. Everybody happy. You guys good? Yeah? Maybe you can make that bridge larger as well. Let's try. Not really. Yeah, that one doesn't agree. But let's make that bigger at least. Good. So there is more space. Wow, look at that. Phew. Might need more trucks there. Let's get one more. Actually, two more. The red guys, right? No, just one for now. It's not overkill. Let's not overdo it. Yeah, because he's arriving. Yeah, they need to space themselves out more. But that's good. Wow. Yeah, I think passenger trains are close. They're up next because we are slowly stabilizing the freight now. And I think it's time to service the passengers. There we go. Shipping out a few of these items. 
Uh, we have a few stones here. There we go. Yes, potential is climbing for stones. That's beautiful. If you look at the connection here, a couple of slag waiting. Minimal stones though. That's not what I want. It's not the look that I want. But it does look quite good here. Not too bad. Production is up there, although we are running out of raw mats pretty fast. Yeah, we still need to step up the, the stone. There's always going to be some delay, so I think we have to wait until the quarry actually levels up. Yeah, once this levels up, production will be massive and we can make up for that. We can make up for the lag because of the lead time getting getting to the the depot, the main depot here. So yeah, I think we are in a good place. We just need a bit more time to settle up. What is this? So much, so many logs in here. I think we need, I think we need a bigger crane here. Yes, let's do that. With all the money now, we can upgrade as much as we want. Let's see. Let's keep those four steak cars in there. What is the difference here? Oh, four of them are for, uh, yeah, I remember. Four of them are for waste specifically. Yes. That's fine. But let's add how many? Ten more? Let's add ten more of those normal cars. Universal state cars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen million. Go! Why not? <laughs> Very brave now. <laughs> Since we have money and no loans. We don't have any loans, right? Yeah, that's all ours. Good. Where's the train? Oh, it's almost arrived. Okay, good. So now you upgrade, you fill up. It's going to be a few. Okay, good. That's what I like to see. Almost full train. Yeah, look at that. Stopped. Production stopped for logs because I guess there was a bottleneck again here. The station got filled. But now that shouldn't happen with 10 additional cars. Ah, oh, the steel mill is a problem again. What's what's the problem now? Is it this one? No, steel mill. Steel mill is that one. OMG, okay. That's amazing. Oh wow, it uh, suddenly blew up. That's... Uh, I'm speechless. Look at that, 110. I guess we need to up the number of steel trucks because uh, yeah, let's add two more steel trucks. Nibishenker, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, there they are. Actually, no more backlog. Maybe we didn't need it after all. No, production stopped. Okay, it's back. Ah, oh, but production is gone. It's so hard to keep a steady flow in here. I don't think we need additional trucks to be honest. Sell that again. I think it was just a fluke. It was like a burst of, uh, I don't know, burst of something. Alright, fine. Logs. Logs are building up again. That's good. But not so much that it causes a backlog. And the train is so long, it's actually not crossing the bridge anymore. Where is it ending? It's ending over there, halfway on the bridge. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, that seems to be good progress, yes? All the upgrades, all the income. Look at that. All the crude. Wowzers. Yeah, I think we need to upgrade that train station, but I think everything... Given all that, I think it's uh, pretty stable now. And look at all that stuff. Phew. We need to upgrade these guys. That's going to be the last...
activity for this episode was um, we have a depot there so let's sell all of you the 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 rate is one five okay sell all of you let's get I don't know how many just play it by ear um, maybe I don't really know one two three four five for each and see if that comes up to 1500 throughput again so that's actually just 897 ah maybe that's not enough actually that's that's nice it actually says so in there so let's make the same throughput in there maybe make it faster or five there that's faster let's do that assign you there let's get two more in here yeah how about that two thousand yeah so from one five now it's two thousand so we upgraded that a bit we decongested the entire place that should uh, help a bit, I hope. Actually, it might be a bit too much because if you look at this. Well, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. They're actually spacing themselves out very nicely here. Very nice logic from the AI. Very smart. Are we good? Truck Malton, where the heck is the truck in Malton? There it is. Okay, it's coming. That's fine. Okay. So things are building up here. That's fine. They're all getting as much as possible. We can improve the roads so they can go as fast as possible, right? They can go max speed in there. Hmm. Okay, fine. There we go. That's perfect. And over here as well. Okay, there we go. I'm good to do that. Alright. I think that made them happy. In terms of throughput, look at the throughput here. It's off the roof now. When we upgraded the roads from 2000, it became 3000 plus. Wow. So that's actually like double the throughput now. So it might be a bit too much. But we will uh, observe, okay? Let's observe how that works. Anyway, they're earning money. They're earning us something, so we can optimize that a bit. That's not a major concern. Yeah, I think it's a bit too much though. Let's see. So when this guy arrives, how much will he be able to carry? Not even 40. Yeah, we don't need that much. Let's get rid of you. the next one next one is arriving let's get rid of that guy as well it's too close yeah I think that works better right over here actually this one I think oh, this one is too much as well oh I think that he had something to unload didn't he I'm doing the same problem here again. Okay. You don't have anything, you sell. Alright. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Or maybe not. Sell one more. 
being totally OCD here. Are you carrying anything? Not. Sell. Okay, good. So they now have nine trucks each. Right? Yes, nine trucks each. That's fine. Wow, look at that. Malton is really, wow, climbing up there. Let's add a truck for Malton. Um, where do we get the truck? Let's get from here. Malton is that yellow, yellow truck. This one. There we go. That should help a bit. That put number, I guess, has a big use if uh, you know how to uh, make it work, huh? We can probably compare that with some, maybe, I don't know, the capacity or the, the demand. That might actually work. That looks so ugly. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Alright, good. Landfill, what's wrong with you now? Try to ship more items. Well, there is nothing to ship, bro. There's nothing to ship. We're shipping everything. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Must be a bug somewhere. Shoo. Okay, good. Alright, I'll leave it there, guys. I'm having way too much fun with this game and uh, I think that's a bit more stable now. So next episode we'll focus on passengers finally right? and we'll start with this <laughs> replacing these uh, red arrows here. These guys are a bit too old for their sake. Yeah, it looks old as well. Um, how many years are you? 34 years. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. We'll replace them next episode and we'll improve the lines. We'll connect the cities and whatnot. And it's going to be a one heck of a journey, alright? So catch you then. Thank you for watching, guys. Catch you in the next episode. Have a good, have a good day. And please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, hit the like button. If you did enjoy, alright? Thank you and bye-bye.